Hey everyone, this is Manly Bass Hero, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Previously, we start off this great new game, starring three different anime girls, each with distinct personalities. Where to go? So, what would happen if I chose the options the other girl would have liked? Like, let's see. Uncontrollable, she likes that. Uh, clumsy, she likes that. Agonizing. Happiness. Incapable. Lost precious pout. She likes that. Hopeless, she likes that. Did they just divert both of them just to these two girls now? Fun. Pain. Captive. Horror. Shame. Misery? Romance? Death? Let's see. Alone? Doesn't cry hers? Okay, what about... Promise. Forgive. I know Friends was one of hers for sure if I ever see that. Sing. Friends of the Essence. Um... Together. Peace. Okay. Misfortune, maybe? Play. Empty. Empty was hers for sure. So yeah, they diverted both answers to the both girls. Hi again, Manly. I bet this really is a second run of the game. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. Well, I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thank- what? Thanks for keeping your promise, Manly. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Make you dive headfirst into the literature when you're not accustomed to it. I just imagine Natsuki making noise if there's voice acting and just be, Not, 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 Natsuki. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. If you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Wait, you, I can't read the thing. You have to have a big mouth for someone who keeps a manga collection in the club room. Meh. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. I'm sorry, Manly. We'll make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointed glance. Um, anyway. Now you're in the club and all. But the music's getting a little weird. Perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read. Well, I can't really say no either way. Like I said, I'm in this club now. So it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. Oh, wait. I didn't mean it like that. Um, if you don't really want to, then forget I said anything. I guess. No, it's not that, Yuri. I want to try to be- I want to try and be part of this club. So even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you want me to. Are you sure? I just felt like... Well, as vice president and all, I should help you get started on something you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want. Sure thing, corrupted anime girl. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Was your sprite always that big? Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Wait, no. I was right. I thought the classroom was a little off-center, but I was just like, you know, maybe I'm just Spider-Man. Maybe it's always been this way. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that does seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression. 
like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki's rummaging around in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I caught a glimpse of the cover of the book. It looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Man, you can't even skip this even if you want to. Crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and our eyes meet for a split second. That only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry. I was just spacing out. I marred this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. The scene seems relatively normal, for the most part now. I mean, there's like a slight line going through her art, around her neck level, but I think that's... That could have been there, I've just not noticed it. But no, her eyes were off too, wait! If I was focused, I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I want to reread some of it. Oh, the yeah, now it's fixed again. Not for any particular reason. It's kind of weird I'm not noticing things that are wrong. Just curious, how come you have two have copies of the same book? You have two copies of the same book. Well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday... Uh, that's not what I meant. I mean... I just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me. I decided to let it go. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Once I start to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story. Is that so? What's the story about anyway? Well... Hmm... I look at the cover of the book. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Can't tell if your eyes are going off center again or you just have really a goo looking look. Basically, it's about this religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. But the facility gets even worse, and they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and fixing them too. Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. That book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? You mean it sounded like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. Wink, wink. Uh, are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Manly? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that this kind of story, it's a kind of challenge to look at life from a strange new perspective. When horrible things happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because the world is full of horrible people and we're all worthless anyway. Eh. Then suddenly... Uh, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When let things like books and writing fill my thoughts. And hold my gets incredible. What was that? It's not even there. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. Oh, you've been saying a lot of strange things. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's... I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Uh... That's... Well, that's true. In fact, I might as well get started reading it, right? <laughs> yes. I mean, you don't have to, but... What are you saying? Let me just get to the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put in my bag. Alright, it's when I sit here, right? I slipped into the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. And a little bugged out. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Alright. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but that feeling is somewhat com comforting. Yuri's in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Sorry. Oh, don't worry. Nothing matters anyway. 
I didn't even get to catch what that one was. Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Uh, I do? I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean... <laughs> Here, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's and hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Uh, I guess it makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Are you gonna corrupt the CGs too? Like, is that possible? We've been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing. Yuri puts her hand on her chest after the feel of her heartbeat. I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, uh, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. Well, that was a normal CG. What on earth was that about? Manly, did something happen just now? Eh... Uh, I have no idea. Maybe you can explain some things, Monica? Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. But she glitched out at least twice. So you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, nothing. <laughs> Don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just does it sometimes, so it's nothing alarming. Alright, if you say so. Anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Should we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so just we were to get started without her. Is that okay? Yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a metal note where I left off my book and slip it back into my bag. Hmm. You were just outright gone. Was she outright gone last time? I don't remember that. I could be wrong. Monica. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem and I want her to know I'm putting in effort. This will be interesting. Hi, Manly. Having a good time so far? Um... I'm not sure yet. Oh, uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, it's new and everything. If you ever have any suggestions for the club like new activities or things we can do to get better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, Mike, because I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Manly. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I had Monica in my poem. Mm-hmm. Great job, Manly. I was gonna go, oh, in my head while reading it. It's really metaphorical. I'm not sure why, but I didn't expect you to go for something so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to keep everyone's expectations low. That way it always counts when I put in some effort. <laughs> that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know that Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Well, so far it's kind of normal. I haven't seen anything glitch out for a while. Right now it's full of imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. I don't mean that that's like a bad thing though. But sometimes I get the impression that she's just totally given up on people. She spends so much time in her own head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. That's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction. So don't blame her for coming on a little strongly. Like earlier. I figure she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing, looking for alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? And you look really tall compared to her. Not really. But we all start sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad you took all the time you needed. Alright. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I go get my poem now. Hey, wait, do you want me to read my poem now? But don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims not to be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Let's see. I think this was the same poem, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? 
are they simply poems and flat sheets of paper? The sounds of frantic scrawling playing tricks in my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic, there must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. I mean, that is a new poem. So what do you think? Mmm, it's very freeform, is that what you call it? Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Well, from here on out, since there seems to be a lot of redundant things, except for the glitches, um, I'm gonna just kind of skip through the dialogue, and if something like comes up, if something's a little bit off, you know, I'll stop. But if the dialogue's exactly the same, since we've seen both routes anyway, then I'm just gonna be clicking through and commentating. So, Yuri. It has a skip on it, so this must all be actually normal. Yeah, I guess that's everyone. I glance around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. This is if everyone's judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. The music's a little bit off. Even just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. Is this a literature club after all? I sigh. I guess that's what I end up getting myself into. I cross the room, Monica's writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They usually exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As I read in tandem, I watch either expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. I don't think in that fight. I think this is all the same dialogue also, so I'm gonna uh, kind of skip through it a little bit. Uh, make a save in case I skip too fast. It's the same. Except for that music being off at that one point. That's all that seems to happen. Same. It's two girls arguing because they're both archetypes that are like polar opposites. Yeah, not even any glitches. It's, it's hijinks. Monica comes in. You just yell her down. And she bitch. Wait, what? Did you see that last time? I think so. Wait. 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 Sorry, my life is much for some of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Once we learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. If you not prove anything, it's tough crafting over your sickening attitude. Okay, this thing really a bit. You think you can kind of blow your toxic personality by just addressing anything cute? The only cute thing about it is how hard you try. Well, you might be careful, you might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh my bad, you already do, don't you? Wait, this is a little wrong. Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Wait, when did it start changing so desperately? Right here. Right after boobs. Yeah, go on. Let Manly hear everything you really think. I'm sure you'll be head over heels for you after this. Uh, suddenly Yuri turns towards me and she just noticed I was standing here. Manly. She's, she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. I get, I did not like whoop. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a, you know what, I can't make a save. Um. That's okay, let's mix it up. Okay, this is not working. Guys? Hi! W what's up? You, you doing alright? Monica? Monica? Um... Hey, Manly. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? Okay? Sorry about that. They really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. Are you gonna answer the... the situation in there? It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once we're done yelling. Are, are you correcting the bugs? <laughs> Some president I am, right? I can't even confirm my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more assertive sometimes. But I never have it in me to put my foot down against others. You understand, right? Anyway... If this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to spend time with you instead. 
Suddenly Natsuki runs out of the classroom. What, what is going on? She quickly runs away. Oh dear. Well, it looks like they're done. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri's rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Yuri. I didn't mean it. That's a new face from you. I, I believe you. I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki. Or did. Manly, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri. We know you didn't mean it. Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget about all about tomorrow. By tomorrow? Completely. Anyway, the meeting is over, so you can go home now if you want. Yuri looks at me like she wants to say something. But she keeps glancing at Monica. You can go first, Monica. I have to stay a little bit longer. I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. Wait. I'll wait for you to be done. Well, I'm vice president, so... Please let me take the responsibility today. It kind of sounds like you don't want me around for something, Yuri. It's not that. It's not that. I just... I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Manly. It would just be embarrassing, embarrassing with you listening. I guess I don't really have a choice, do I? I'm sorry for causing trouble. But I really appreciate you. What? Let's just ignore that ever happened. Okay. Pure. Valentine. Poof. Uh, I guess we'll do Natsuki a little bit. Fluffy. Promise. Cheer. Lollipop. Embrace. Bliss. Fun. Boop. Swimsuit. Parfait. Giggle. Nibble. Hey. Despise. Laugh. Existence. At some point I just start clicking randomly, because I already knew that the route was sunk. Another day passes, and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. In the club room, the usual scene greets me. Yep, that's the usual scene. I guess it's focusing on the most important part by this game's standards. Welcome back, Manly. Oh, uh, hi, Yuri. Uh, Miss Opai. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. <laughs> but the wave of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Oh, there you are. Hi. Um, Yuri glances over his shoulder looking around the room. Natsuki's reading manga at a desk. And surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday. I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. I mean, you two calling each other bitches. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri. I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple of days, I can tell something was off yesterday. I mean, your boobs just went flying into the room, I'm pretty sure something's off. Maybe we were just a little extra centered because it was the first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. The game became honeypot for a sec. I already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Um... Manly. Don't see those kind of things so frankly. Make it a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. And I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything's a little bit brighter over you around and... Uh, sorry, what am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh... No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man. You're, I'm guessing you haven't either? Yuri's clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki's addressing her. No, I haven't. She just isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday. I just want to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Oh god, she's been rewritten. She was right. Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Jeez. Whatever is on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. I don't remember anything bad happening. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? But... 
Okay, that's just weird. Meeple sail cloth blinds at lifeline and uh, faultlessly offered. Scalamashia nade. I'll accept your apology anyway if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear it since I was afraid you secretly hate me or something. <laughs> no, not at all. I don't hate you. <laughs> well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Says the one who's in the manga. Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Oh, there you are. Were you just out there programming the game? I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't too worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I was not. <laughs> what took you so long anyway? Uh, well, my last period study study today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't where you play music as well, Monica. <laughs> Don't give me more, more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must be quite a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Uh, well, thanks, Yuri. You're a little bit off the screen there. Did you play something for us sometime? Oh, uh, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. That sounds cool. Radical. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Manly. Monica smiles sweetly. Where did everyone else go? Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica was referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Oh, thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I should just have to bring up anything that the three of us talked about, especially that one face glitching out. Besides, Natsuki's already run off into the closet. Manly, um, such a compliment's put me in a good mood. I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Yeah, definitely. I plan on it anyway. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry, that's just a Doki Doki Literature Club. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah. But, I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. Didn't I have that book? It's kind of funny because I chose most of the Natsuki options. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that makes my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. I'd bet you for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small wire pitcher from the shelf, the kind of a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the wire pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm gonna plug this in the teacher's desk and I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the wire pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. Uh, that's okay. You stay here. I won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the wire pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. You said it wouldn't take long. Okay, I think this is different right here. There's something holding her up. I'm bored just winning here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. Wait, is the music stuck in the classroom? I think it's stuck in the classroom. The most logical place for Yuri to be will be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha ha? Who? What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale like someone's sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? What? Wait, what? 
Oh god, this was from yesterday when she was accusing her. Yeah. I reach out. I'm back. Thanks for waiting patiently. Now, do you like oolong tea? Oh yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. You always set the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I should do any less when I'm making tea for others. You know I'm not an expert on tea or anything? Mm-hmm. In that case, you'll only be more impressed. Uh, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was letting it show. You noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Are you gonna address what happened earlier? It turns out that's not very hard for me to do. When it's you who's around anyway. Uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Manly. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I want Yuri to pour a cup of tea for each of us. Manly, I have no request. This better not be a twisted one. You might be sitting on the floor today? And why's that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over my desk. So far, it's the same. I'm gonna kinda skip through a little bit, because this is... similar. Did she say it this time? No, same thing. Chocolate. Because last time there was no differences in the CG, so I'm just gonna... kinda skip through here. You start to breathe heavily. I... I can't... Manly. Wait, that's a little different. I think. Suddenly Yuri forcibly grabs my arms and jerks me to my feet. My teacup gets knocked over. Manly. Wait, this is a lot different. My heart... My heart won't stop pounding, Manly. Here's a Doki Doki from the Literature Club title. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Manly? All I see is blackness. You suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want... To look at you. Yo, yo, yo. Yo. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay, you can stop now. Ah. Uh. You can stop now. Um, thank you. Or, or maybe you're the problem behind this. I don't know. It's time to share poems. Which I showed my poem to first. That was interesting. Monica! Manly, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Woof. Is that kind of messed up? She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she's just come kind of high from it. Might even be like, a sexual thing. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, then that would probably be best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend one more time with me. Put lightly, I at least have it to get in my head, and I know how to treat my club members. But anyway, you want me to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. And I think this is the same poem, save me. The colors they won't, bright beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, and endless cacophony of meaningless noise. Noise and won't stop, violent, grating, it's a little more corrupted this time. Screeching, piercing, tangent like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. That's new. All meaningless. Delete her. It's, you can't, it's good pro no. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. To put it lightly. I'm just trying to, um... 
Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monica's running tip of the day. Sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Uh, I can hear you? Anything. Please help me. Okay. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Yuri? Are you the same? I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Yuri smiles takes a deep breath. I just like just holding it. I mean, the poem turned out to good. It's a... Uh, well, there's some things you could work on. That doesn't really matter. It feels like anything written by you is a treasure. <laughs> that came out a little awkward. Let's move on. Here's about my wrote. You don't have to like it or anything. Wheel. A rotating wheel, turning on axle, grinding. Bolt head. Linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a dock ship, a portal to another world, a hope tied to a black... Oh yeah, ticking clock. A bullet-headed strike of blood, written in clocks, a time-devouring prayer connecting a sky full of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox, breathing bolt-head, breathing s slip, breathing portal, breathing wheel, breathing sky. Um, it's very good. Watch as I just back away now. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I have to take it out on your pen. Uh, that is a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday. So I took it for him for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the way it writes. So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're touching it. <laughs> I, I'm okay. What I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. I'm just burning this. Natsuki, you gotta be normal, right? Hmm. Well, it's not really worse than in the last one. I can't believe it's any better either. Phew. Uh, phew what? Uh, well, anything that's in a train wreck, I'll take as a win. I get the feeling you're probably the most critical. Hey, what makes you... Maybe that was a compliment? No, this one's the same, right? You've locked a special poem and you like to read it. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. That's not a poem. That's just a creepy drawing. Wait, there's something new here. I hate this. I can't do anything, nothing. No matter how many times you play, it's all the same. It would be really, really easy to kill myself right now, but it wouldn't mean I don't get to talk to you anymore. All I want is for you to hate them. Why is that so hard? Can you hear me? There's a little devil inside all of us. Beneath their manufactured perception, our artificial reality. There's a writhing, twisted mess of dread and loathing judgment that leads some self-doubt. All thrashing things keep the feeble hold of their host. Seeking for every little crevice they can find to their willpower. Starting them all motivation and desire until their stomach forcing them to drown their guilt and comfort food. Or to an only open gash in their skin. And only by the sleeves of a cute new shirt. Which is the portable tangled mass is already present in every single one of them. That's why I chose not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. Okay everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to go over today, so if everyone can come sit at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Do we have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting new members. I have concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last-minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? Look, I know everyone's been a little more lively ever since Manly joined and we've started with some club activities. Lively puts it lightly. But this is the time for us to become complacent. We still only have four members. And the festival is our only real chance to find more, you know. What's so great about getting new members anyway? We already have enough to be considered an official club. More members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. That's okay. I don't think you're looking at it the right way at all. Don't you want to show your passion with as many people as you can? Inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? A larger club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. That's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival. Even something small. Right, Manly? Uh... Oh, come on. You can't take advantage of Manly to agree with you just because he doesn't know how to say no to anything. Look, Monica. Do you really think any of us here joined the club with other people in mind? Yuri never even talked until Manly joined. As for me, I just like a barrier here than I do at home. 
And Manly isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. Sorry, but you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this, with Manly. Hi, how you doing? I know you're present and all, but you should really consider our opinions for once. Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. Damn, they can't sound a bank. This is really just a... Gawk at Manly, Manly Club. That's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Manly want to get some more members too. Right? I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of different. I'm just here. Hi, how you doing? I'm a Let's Player. If I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, I'd probably be lying. Silver helped me to rescue the situation. Um, no. That's against right, isn't she? This club. It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why do I think that everyone here saw it the same way as I did? That doesn't mean we're against getting new members or anything. Manly, why did you even join this club? To hang out? That's not the point! What were you hoping to get out of it? Well... Okay, I'll be frank, I just came here for romance options. It's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. Is it crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about the word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't... There aren't that many places like that for me. And that Monica wants to take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Manly. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could've just joined any other stupid club. But this one... I mean... At least for a little bit of time. Things were nice. Natsuki starts packing up her things. I'm going home. I feel like... I don't belong here right now. Natsuki... Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks right out of the classroom. This is like the... It's like a mixture of the, the glitch and the heavy route. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well... Do you have an opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Who cares about that obnoxious brat? You know what, never mind, that's a good look for you. You can keep that. I mean, like, I like how nice and quiet the club is right now. And I'm just happy with you here. Of course, you'd be happy with just me here. You'd be happy if they just I was the only one of a person in the world. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Then I would cry if she killed herself. I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. What about you, Manly? What do you want to get out of this club? You repeat the same question as Monica. I decided giving indirect answers better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide us something that you can't get anywhere else. Me. But I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the Literature Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. That just... They're bleeding. Um, y you want to get that? With each change in members, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you would like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. Alright. Well, maybe we can all talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Um, I know things were a little awkward yesterday. But I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president. And also, a wonderful friend. And Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this club the best ever. Okay? And me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. We'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Should we go, Manly? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but... I'm going to chat a little bit with Manly before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Come on, Yuri. Just get out of here, Yuri. I'll be okay. Just get out of here. Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. 
I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Manly, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I'd really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. Is he a little darker in the background? And I really do care about you. You know. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit... You know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean. But it's weird, because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. Uh, I, I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you could understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet! No! Is... Is Monica the problem, or is the game the problem? Ambient. Jump! Bunny. Marriage. Poop. Candy. Silly. Romance. Color. Skirt. Rain... I just know it's sad right now from the top right. Uh... Lazy. Fluffy. Monica? Essence. Kitty. Vacation. Joy. Love. Hope. Hi, Manly. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I found my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to... Uh, is she really late again? Nick is her as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You said like I do it on a regular basis or something. You kinda do. Even on every route. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gone into you lately? Me? Uh, nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. You've been kind of crazy lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just feel like I need to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh man, you just like warped from like the damn... What? I'm the last one here again. Well, Manly just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination. But I guess passion. And Mo makes me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Right. I forgot. Um, about the Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday and... Well, we decided we'd like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. I'm um, also... If you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. <laughs> that's it. That's all it takes. Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really felt friend or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. I never knew member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. Two manlies. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event just suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm gonna help too, and make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Um, ah. Yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Manly, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. You guys really don't want Monica to talk to me, do you? Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Manly's already engaged in the novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten into literature, Monica? That's a weird smile for you. And your eyes just went dead. However, they've always been dead, I can't tell. I... I suppose. I was just... 
Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Wait, 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 wait. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Thank this to the Yuri who's gonna murder me right Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. This better not be poison. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for use yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I fall and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind of a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches lunch for kettle. Is this the same event from before? I'm gonna plug this in the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. This is the same event from before. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the wire pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. Uh, that's okay. You stay here. Uh, it won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. You said it wouldn't take long. There's something holding her up. This is the same thing again. This is like the third time we've been through this. I'm bored just waiting here, so I just take a look for her. Let's see. <laughs> I just find it hilarious how the music is stuck in that classroom. Like, you walk away, and you're getting off the stage, and the sound, the soundtrack is just is stuck in there. It reminds me of a specific scene from a skit called Too Many Cooks. I'm not gonna spoil it, but go watch Too Many Cooks if you're got any time. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Oh great. What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. A sharp inhale like someone sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Here we go again. I think we went a little bit too far back this time. It's black. Whoa! Um. Wait. How did I... Sorry, I just had really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My head has been a little fuzzy lately. I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we start spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. Yeah, like, I mean, um, I have anime figures, and you are a glitched out piece of code that may or may not want to murder me later? I don't know. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen as inappropriate, or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think it would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. And the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So, I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out my chest. I, I think a few times it actually did. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Manly, is it just me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? You say that as you make the crazy eyes? No, person that scares me. Please tell me I'm not. I couldn't say anything before, because she's always listening. But finally we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. The eyes. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Then we do interview for our reading time. Then we'll make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. <laughs> Monica, are you... Are you phasing through the... Oh god, it's Twin Peaks anime version. That was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives, though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand me noticing how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? No? I can show you my collection. 
I've gotten them all from various artisans. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the Lurcher Club, Manly. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the Lurcher Club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention the ever pathetic child. We can walk home together every day and after school. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. Whoa we Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Kinda was. Fate that would we meet each other. And now we get the happy ending that I've patiently waited for years for now. We do that, we'll Well Who should I show my poem to first? Wow, it feels like a lot of time has passed and I didn't notice it. Well, nothing strange has been happening. Did I make a save? Yeah, I did. I wanna go. Don't say I didn't warn you, Manly. Great, thanks. Nice knowing you. Oh god, I wanna click this. Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my palm to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Manly, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Sure, that gets you out of here and away from me. Please? Sure, I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, Manly. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. Not really, but... I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. Let me touch it. Wait, what? I'll give you myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Let's, just, let's ignore that ever happened. You kept my poem too. I don't think I want this. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Is that... What is that one stain? You know, I think I have to barely read this. Yo! Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell what poem was about and... Yeah, I think I could tell what it was. More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. Oh god, I do know what that stain is. See, I, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I... I think I'm going to vomit. Who should I show my poem to next? That's okay, you're normal. Comparatively. What? You give your poem to Yuri? Gross. What is with you two? Uh, it's not like I wanted to read it anyway. It just pissed me off a little bit that you didn't even think to show me at all. Ugh. Okay, I guess I'm going to share my poem with you anyway. I really hate that I have to do this. But fortunately, I don't have much of a choice. Just read it carefully, okay? They can go away. This is not a poem, this is a call for help. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri's been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive and things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that you'll listen to. I don't know why. Let's see. But please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with her, Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless. So please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. <laughs> listen, you don't have to pay me cupcakes, don't worry about that. I just want to live. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. 
Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. It's a really good poem. Oh god. You've been intercepted. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so un unlikable. Can you hear me, Manly? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. It is Monica's fault. She's twisting their personalities. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. J just Monica. Just Monica. Let's just give you the Monica game. Just Monica. Yes. Today I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how blank feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one, though. So I don't think I'll be doing it again unless I decide to kill myself. Of the momental vacation below. Oh no.